Before he was a Tennessee Vol, before he had the fastest pitch in college baseball history, Ben Joyce was just a Knoxville kid with a dream to be one of the best in baseball. And look at him. Aww. He actually is doing it. He's <laughs> doing it. He's living out his dream. This is a big weekend for the Vols, by the way, playing in the Super Regional against yep. Notre Dame. And Chase Ben's parents say they're probably a little more nervous <laughs> than he is. Right? I mean, top-level athletes prepare day in and day out for moments like this in their careers. But the parents of the athletes are an entirely different story. Story. Alan and Joni Joyce go to every single Vol baseball game because they never know when or if Ben will be on the mound. But when he gets up there, they go through great lengths to be calm. The parents of one of the world's fastest pitchers live in this modest West Knox County home. It's the same home Alan and Joni Joyce raised their twin sons, Ben and Zach. From a very young age, the brothers had one goal. I want to play baseball. I want to play baseball. The two grew up playing baseball together at Farragut. But even before that, mom did everything she could to support her children's dream. So we would just spend as much time outside as we could playing kickball, football. I mean, it got to a point where I couldn't throw with them or catch with them anymore because it scared me. Mom's fears foreshadowed a historic event when Ben pitched a fastball traveling 105.5 miles per hour. I think our little secret of throwing fast uh, just got out. I think the biggest surprise to me is the notoriety that it's um, taken on. With the attention comes more pressure, not for Ben, but his parents. I'd like to sit back and relax, but I find myself on the edge of the seat, and not just as a parent, but also as a fan. I do hold a rosary <laughs> during every game and say silent prayers that he'll, not that he's going to go out and be a superstar, but that he'll go out and help his team and be happy with how he did. Alan and Joni hope their son will be on the mound this weekend. But they know Ben has his sights set on something bigger. Does he want to be up there? Of course he does. He wants to be a contributing part of it, but he's just he's just enjoying the experience of being part of his team and the energy. And just like every other game, Alan, Joni, and Ben's twin brother Zach will be there, rooting him on. He loves looking up and knowing what they're Ben Joyce's twin brother Zach right there they've played on the same team their entire lives except for maybe the last one or two seasons but Ben's parents tell me he hopes to get drafted after the season ends we're talking about Ben right now but hint we might see the other Joyce wearing orange next season we'll see uh, these kids have grown up and they're, they're seriously late bloomers like I remember in high school when they were playing baseball they were like five seven when they were freshmen and then all of a sudden Ben Joyce is 6'5", 225 <laughs> pounds, and breaking world records. It's like, it's what's going on? What happened? And we, his younger brother's taller than him? Yes. Huh? Well, no, no. Ben is taller than oh, Zach, okay, and okay, Ben okay. makes sure okay. he's like, I'm the world record holder. I'm two inches <laughs> taller than you. So there's no competition there uh, at all, you're Not saying. at all. Not at all. But maybe next year, if uh, Ben decides to say, but he has Very hopes for the draft. The Super Regional against Notre Dame is expected to start at 6 o'clock tonight, and Game 2 is tomorrow at 2. So you might see Ben out there on the mound. Or his brother uh, yeah, next year. I like next the year. idea of that. <laughs> I love that. Thank it's you, possible. Chase.